Hi everybody, this is Paul Whedon with the Tackle Direct Pro Staff and today we are going to splice monofilament line into hollow core spectra. Welcome back everybody. What we're going to do, first things first, is find the correct needle size to match up with the monofilament. We want to do this, we want to find the smallest needle that we can possibly fit this monofilament. And this is 80 pound monofilament that we are using into this needle. Sometimes I'll roll the needle a little bit too to help it in. This one works perfectly. We're going to be splicing it in to this 100 pound hollow core line. What I like to do is leave about an 18 inch tag end. I'm going to use this tag end for my serve. So once I do that, I then bunch the hollow core a little bit to make it fatter in one place. And that's going to be the entry point with my needle. And just lightly work the needle in to that hollow core line. Once it's in, you're just going to gradually pull the line up the needle. Sometimes you may poke out like that. You can just backtrack, regather the line, and go back. That does not damage the hollow core at all. It's designed to be penetrated like that. I personally like to actually feed the monofilament up into the hollow core about two and a half feet. Now, with the old methods of serving with waxed floss, we needed to go that far. But now, with some of the more modern serving techniques we're using, we actually don't need to go that far. We, we only really need to go just a few inches. Our served connection is actually going to be a 100% knot that will not slip at all. But just for safety, especially on larger trolling tackle, I'll go in the extra couple feet. I like to use my index finger here, my pointer finger here rather, to get the line straight to more easily feed that needle through the hollow core. It gives it a straighter path of entry. Then just feed it right back over the monofilament. There we have it. We're about three feet in. What I'm going to do now is get the needle out of the hollow core. So I'm going to poke and make an exit point. Just pull the needle out and then take this excess hollow core and just cover it up over that monofilament tag. Just keep working it until it covers up. Just like that. And then now it's just it's completely wrapped or inside of that hollow core spectra. Next we're going to put it on our serving jig. And what this does is this elevates the line a little bit to allow us to get a bobbin and spin it around to make our serve. And it also holds the line with pressure. Holds it tight for us. Next we're going to feed our tag end onto our bobbin. We use a special bobbin here and this will apply a little bit of extra pressure and that allows our serve connection to be a 100 percent connection like I mentioned earlier. And What that does is it actually eliminates the need for some of these longer splices. I'm going to feed this tag in onto this bobbin here, and you can use any bobbin. You don't have to use anything too fancy. Any, any bobbin will work. Some of the splicing kits now have a bobbin included, and they work very well too. Then we're going to do our serve. We start our serve 
by taking that tag end and doing a series of loose twists up the monofilament. We're going to go about three inches up on there. Then what we're going to do is we are going to pinch the line here and the goal is to get the bobbin to begin re-wrapping over the twist that we've already done. So this is a little tricky with your hands but what you need to do is pinch it, wrap your bobbin over and by hand give it a couple wraps before you really start flipping the bobbin. I'll do that now. What I'll do is I'll snug it up on right to the end there. And what I'm doing is I'm just starting it with a couple of twists before I, I actually begin using the bobbin. Now that we've gotten that, you can tighten the bobbin right up to it. As you can see, and there's actually grooves on this one so that we can then begin to do our wraps. What this is going to do is create a completely streamlined serve connection. No wind on guides, none of that are required with this. This is completely seamless. It's going to go through any set of guides just fine. It's not going to get caught up on anything. I'm going to go until I cover the series of loose wraps that I did initially. Once they're completely covered, then we're good. You can see as I flip this over, it's doing the tight wraps that are covering them back up. Okay, so now that we've, we've covered up all our loose wraps, I'm going to pinch this off and pull the excess line out and use that to do my finishing knot. My finishing knot is going to be a uni knot that is unwrapped onto itself and what that does is that buries the tag to make sure that the finish itself is again streamlined just like our serve. So I'm going to pinch it off, pull this and then do a three turn uni knot. We have one, two and three. Then I take that knot, grab it by the loop and actually unwrap the twist. So you'll see the twist here, we're going to unwrap it. So when we unwrap it from this side, this end of the loop will actually rewrap around the line. You'll see that as I begin. One, two, and three. And then now all I'm going to do is pull my tag end, which will get rid of this excess line here. Sometimes you want to sneak this out a little bit. Pull it tight. Give it a couple nice pulls. You can be tough with it. You can really lay into it. And then we're just going to cut our tag and we're good. It's always good to have a good pair of braid cutting scissors handy to really get through that spectra. But there it is. That's a completely streamlined serve. You're 100% right there, so you really don't need the extra two to three feet of, sp of splice serve, but we do it because it's always good to have a backup. But in theory, this right here, 100%, will hold your line just fine. Completely streamlined, not going to get caught up in any of the guides. If you have any more questions on splicing or serve connections, please feel free to call one of our product specialists. The phone number is on the screen or shop anytime 24-7 online at TackleDirect.com. Thanks so much.